What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Another month has gone by and that means it's time for my monthly favorites. This video is going to be all of my favorites from the month of September and September was kind of a weird month for me, at least makeup wise, because I was gone for half the month. I was on vacation for two weeks. So for the most part, I've been using a lot of the makeup that I brought with me on my trip. I made kind of like a little makeup capsule collection. You guys would have seen that if you watched my pack with me for Paris vlog. I'll link that video down below. If you like kind of organization, you wanna see how I pack my makeup, my brushes for a very long trip, just kind of my favorites that I bring with me, definitely check out that video. But I had a lot of fun using the makeup that I packed for that. And I definitely have some favorites to show you guys today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And by the way, if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. My name is Sophia. I am a complete luxury beauty addict and I upload new videos just like this one every single week, including a lot of new makeup reviews. We have a lot of holiday collections coming out right now that I've been covering. So hit that subscribe button button to join our fam. We would love to have you. And as a quick reminder, friends, I will link all these products in the description box and any of the makeup that is on my face today as well. I do use affiliate links. So when you shop through my links, it supports my channel because I do earn a small commission from you clicking and shopping on the links. And without further ado, guys, let's dive in here. The first favorite that I have, where did I put it? Here it is. It's actually a sunscreen favorite. I was wearing this throughout my entire trip, just kind of slathering it on my face in the morning. This is the Dr. Cyrical, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, the Dr. Cyrical Hyla Reyouth Moist Sun, sorry if you don't like that word, Moist Sun, SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 and it says moisturizing UV UV protection face and body. A couple of months ago, I think it was Style Vana, they sent me like a huge box of sunscreens. We're talking like maybe eight sunscreens and I've slowly been working my way through all of them and honestly they've all been really, really good. So this is the latest one that I've been trying. And this is definitely one of my favorites so far. It looks beautiful under makeup, but this one, I definitely think it's a little bit more hydrating than some of the other ones. Some of them are more water-based, super lightweight, maybe a little bit better for summer. But as we're kind of going into more of like the autumn months here, and it definitely was a little bit chillier in Paris towards the end of my trip, I definitely appreciated having this sunscreen just to kind of hydrate my face a little bit. When I do my makeup on vacation, I do a full face of makeup in the morning, unless I'm like at the beach or something like that. But when I'm in Paris, I do my makeup in the morning and then I leave it on all day. I don't really touch it up. Like I'm out, I'm out of the hotel the entire day. And so I tend to go for things that I know are going to help my makeup last, keep my skin hydrated. And then with the makeup also be very long lasting. Like longevity is key, longevity is key. And so I highly recommend this one. I'm almost done because my boyfriend and I used this for the past like three weeks and so you know we used the right amount and so it's almost done but here you guys can see it's extremely lightweight it's clear moisturizing it sinks into the skin really well and it looks beautiful under makeup i try not to do too many skincare things because you guys kind of get bored but a lot of you guys ask me for sunscreen recommendations especially ones to wear under makeup. So I just wanted to call this one out. I really, really like it. And also thank you to Stylevana for sending it to me. I finally, finally got to give it a try. And then as I mentioned, when I'm traveling, I usually like to bring products that are very multi-purpose, something that I can wear on the face and on the eyes. Usually I'll bring like one or two face palettes. And so luckily, literally the morning that I was leaving for vacation, the Hourglass Holiday Palettes landed in my package room and I was so excited because even though I couldn't post my review super quickly, which by the way, it is up right now, so you guys should know my full, very in-depth, very critical analysis of the two palettes that I got, which were the Jellyfish palette and the Snake palette. I got the owl packaging for the Jellyfish palette, by the way. Look how cute it is, look how cute it is. Even though I couldn't post my review super early, I was very excited to just test the products out for like two, three weeks before I posted the video and test them out, I did. I wore these babies nonstop. And I know I shared my pros and cons of each of the palettes in my video. And that's just because 
it's a review, so I want to let you guys know the pros and cons. But in general, I told you guys, I do really enjoy using these. I use them nonstop, both on my face and on my eyes. I would say the Jellyfish palette, the one that I'm holding right here, I used a little bit more. And I've also been using it a lot since I've gotten back from my trip because I don't know if this is the same for you guys, but the week leading up to vacation is insanely busy. I have to work like literally overtime to kind of make up for the time that I'm missing, both in my regular job and also for my YouTube videos. I did post videos and work on those videos while I was on vacation, so it was just very busy. And then the week coming back from vacation is kind of the same, except you're jet lagged. <laughs> so the theme before and after the vacay was definitely like simplicity and ease. And so I've been diving back into the hourglass palettes for the past week since I've been back from my trip. So it's been really, really nice. I love both of them. I'd say that I used the Jellyfish palette a little bit more when I was in Paris, kind of for those types of looks. And then I used the Snake palette more so in Croatia because it's more corally. It's a little bit like warmer, more golden, kind of get that beachy feel, goes with the vibe of the location and the outfits and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I've really been enjoying these palettes and it also inspires me to go back to last year's palettes as well and dip into those. So I've really been liking these and a lot of you guys have told me you're enjoying the palettes as well and hopefully that video helped you figure out which one to get. And I mentioned in my Hourglass holiday review that I really wish Hourglass would put in at least one of the palettes a neutral blush because I don't always want coral blush or pink blush. You know, I want something that kind of goes along with maybe a more bold eye look, for example. And so a lot of times the hourglass palettes, they're very handy to bring on vacation, but I usually will also bring along a neutral blush single. And the one that I brought that I've really been enjoying is this one from RMS. This is Crystal Slipper. This is one of the newer ones. It's a little bit lighter. It's kind of the lighter version of Maiden's Blush, which is one of my other favorite neutral blushes. That is also from RMS. Full disclosure, this was gifted to me. I did like a full review of the new blushes that they launched. So you guys can check that out on my channel. And I know a lot of you guys really like this one too because it's a little bit more subtle. It kind of goes with everything. It's glowy, it's beautiful. So I was really enjoying this as well. So I kind of used this in conjunction with the Hourglass palettes. Oh, and I'll put my coupon code in the description box if you guys wanna save money at RMS. And then I have a couple of eyeshadow palette favorites that I wanna share with you guys. The first two are ones that I brought with me on my trip and I fell in love with, I had so much fun playing with these. These are the Chanel Le Beige collection palettes. And I picked these up maybe mm, like a month or two ago when I bought the Chanel Fall collection at the boutique. I picked these up because so many of you guys keep asking me about these palettes and I didn't have them. And I wanted to be familiar with them, give them a try. And they're really nice. I love them. These are some of my favorite palettes from Chanel. So I have the one that is called Warm, and then this one is called Intense. The Warm Color Story, I was told, I was told by the Chanel sales associate that this is the one that Margot Robbie wears a lot, like on the Barbie press tour. It has some really pretty neutrals in there, so you can go very neutral, and then you also can add like a little pop of coral here. This shade is a really beautiful topper shade. Just really light, very neutral, great for every day. It's a really beautiful palette. And then my favorite one of the two is this one. This is the Intense palette. This is so elegant. This is such a sexy palette. And all of the shades here, you can use just one and it looks good. Like it's such a simple palette. It's so elegant. You can use this for a night out, maybe put a little eyeliner. I also use this in Croatia if I wanted to do kind of like a bronzy, like bronze goddess sort of look because you have these shades here. Even this one here, it's kind of like a bronze, but it's sort of khaki and green leaning. I think this is beautiful for summer and also for fall, or at least those are the types of vibes that I'm getting from this one. It is gorgeous. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel because I don't know which day the video is going live, but I do feature this palette in a get ready with me that's gonna be going live very, very soon if it is not already. So you guys can see me demo these beautiful shades, but both of these palettes, I absolutely love. By the way, a lot of you guys are asking me, do you actually use 
all the eyeshadow palettes that you bring on vacation? Do you actually end up using all that makeup? Yes, yes, guys. Of course I use all of the makeup that I bring. Of course there's gonna be like a couple of lipsticks or, you know, maybe an eyeliner or two that I don't end up using, but I love playing with my little makeup travel bag when I'm on a trip. I have such a big makeup collection and I review makeup now as a job, as my second job here. I'm constantly using new things because that's just what I have to do. I really like just kind of packing a little group of makeup and just enjoying something day after day after day. It's really fun for me. So yes, I do use all my makeup when I go on vacation. And then the other eyeshadow palette favorite that I have here, which is actually the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today, is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. I felt like when this first came out, I didn't have a chance to put it in my monthly favorites because like I said, I'm just reviewing so many things every single week. Like I didn't have a chance to really dip into this more during that month, but this month, like I said, the week leading up to vacation is so busy. And then when I come back, I'm also really busy. So this palette has been perfect for just really quick, neutral looks. Like today, I actually have to travel again today. I'm heading to the airport later and I got to fly all the way to the West Coast. So I thought I would do something very, very simple. And it's, it's a work trip. So I don't want to do anything too crazy. I just used these two very light matte shades. And then I used Whisper all over the lid and then I just topped things off with this one which is called Sheen. It's kind of just like a kind of like a wet look topper shade and that's what we have right here. So I've really been enjoying this one as well. This is definitely going to be in my Sephora recommendations video. By the way guys, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know your feedback. What kinds of videos do you want for the Sephora sale? I of course will do just kind of a general like what I think you should buy in the sale but is there anything else that you guys want to see, please let me know because I'm trying to prep for all of that right now because the holidays are going to be busy. Another favorite is what is on my lips today, which is one of the new lipsticks from Hermes. These were the fall collection, I want to say, and it says here this is the shiny lipstick formula, and the one that I have is number 84, Brilliant Rouge Abyss. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm going to swatch it for you here on my hand, and I actually have three comparisons here to show you guys because there's a lot of kind of plummy lipsticks coming out this fall. It's so gorgeous. I actually picked this up at the Hermes flagship store in Paris. This was just like a little treat that I added to my order. I did film a vlog of that shopping trip so that video should be coming out sometime in like the next two weeks or so. Pray for me guys, cause I have a lot of vlog footage that I need to edit, but I did pick this up at the flagship store and I wore this nonstop on my trip and I've been wearing it a lot ever since because it's just a nice little fall color. It's kind of like a, um, like a bright plum and because it is the shiny formula and it's a little bit, you know, more translucent, it's not too much. It's a very nice, easy wearable fall color. If you don't wanna go full on lipstick or a matte lip, you wanna put something in your handbag, this formula is really good. I'll put a little bit more on so that you guys can see. A lot of times with this formula, not just from Hermes, but from a lot of brands, the colors that they will launch might be very light. And so they don't show up on my lips all that well. So I was excited to see this collection because all of the colors, I think, doesn't say it here on the packaging, but all of the colors are basically like a traditional color with black pigment added. So they kind of took something very, I don't know, regular that maybe they would launch and they just kind of deepened it up for fall winter, which I thought was interesting. This is the deepest of the three shades that they launched, by the way. And the packaging, I love it. It's very like chic Halloween to me. I think it's so cool. So. That's the lippy that I've been loving. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna do some comparisons. I wanted to compare the Chanel Fall lipstick that I've been loving. This one is called Wild to show you all the difference right there. So that is the Hermes and that is the Chanel Wild. I also have here from the Chanel Holiday Collection, that review is live, make sure you check it out. This is the one that I had in that video. This is the Lextrait formula. The other one was the Rouge Coco Bloom. And this one is called, I think it's called Roaring Purple if I'm remembering correctly. That one is Roaring Purple. It's actually not that different 
from the shade Wild, except this one, it isn't really coming across on camera. It has a little bit of a metallic finish and it also is just a little bit more pigmented. It's more of like a one swipe color. And then finally, I also went into my bedroom and I pulled out Lisa Eldridge Night Thoughts because I know a lot of you guys have this one as well. And it is, <laughs> look at me, it is quite similar. I think this one is a little bit more blue toned and these have more of a brown base. And then the Hermes, this is the one that is the most different. Mm. And to me, honestly, the most wearable. I really like pairing this with like the Chanel Mauve blush from the fall collection or the new Cure Royale blush from RMS that they just launched. So this is a really beautiful color that I've very much been enjoying. These are expensive, so I try and reserve my recommendations for if I really, really like it. And then the other lip favorite that I have here is from Merit Beauty, and this is the shade Lavenue from their signature lightweight lipstick. And I'll just swatch this one kind of across the top, and it's kind of in the similar color family, except this one goes on a little bit more matte, a little bit more like a traditional lipstick, and it has more of a brownie look once it goes onto the lips. So there you have it, guys. There's a bunch of really great lipstick options for fall slash autumn. I have a couple more favorites here to show you guys. For mascara, I've gotten back on the Tower 28 mascara train. I had this little mini and I thought this would be perfect to bring with me on my trip. So I've been using this one a lot. This is what I'm wearing on my lashes today. And it's so long wearing, so it's perfect if you kind of need your makeup to last all day, if it's gonna be a little bit rainy or if it's gonna be a little bit hot. That's what I really like about this is that the longevity is so good. And then of course, of course I have to include the BK Beauty travel holder slash pouch. I showed this in my pack with me vlog, but I can't remember if I showed it in any of my other videos. BK Beauty did send this to me by the way. So full disclosure, this was gifted. Thank you so much BK Beauty. I do have a coupon code for BK Beauty that I'll put in the description box, but I've just been using this nonstop because clearly I went on a trip. I'm going on another trip. I already rewashed my brushes and packed them up for my business trip. And the way that this works, if you didn't see my other video, is that it's kind of like a little holder, as you can see right here. You can see all the tops of your brushes. And then when you pull it up like this, you can just sort of zip it up and then you have it right there. And I have like some other brush holder things for travel, but what is kind of nice about this is that it's smooshy. So it does protect your brushes and it keeps them lying flat. But we all know when we go to pack things, sometimes they don't fit to like a perfect mold. So I like the fact that this does lay relatively flat in my suitcase. Let's think about some of the pros and cons here. I think the only con here is just the fact that if you have some shorter brushes, even like travel brushes, honestly, they're not gonna reach high enough to the point where you can see them. I did pack a couple of brushes that were a little bit shorter, just like not really thinking, and they got kind of lost in the inside of the holder. So actually, you really don't need to purchase any travel brushes for this. You can use your regular ones, and that's actually better because you can see here, this is like a Sonia G brush. You can see them a little bit better. And then I also wanted to show you, this isn't technically a favorite because it just came in the mail yesterday, but just for kind of helpful comparison's sake, I also wanted to show you guys the other travel set that BK Beauty just launched. This is with Angie Hot and Flashy. They just sent this to me and I just got it last night. And so I just washed the brushes and I wanted to just give you guys a quick comparison of the two in case you're trying to figure out maybe which one to get. So this one has kind of like a slimmer pouch. If you like something that's more slim, this might be better. I'll show you a quick little comparison right there. What's nice about it is that you can roll it down like that. And I actually think this one, it's a little bit easier to see the brushes, but this one you can fit more brushes and it's a little bit more sturdier of a base. So I don't know, it's just personal preference whichever one you like. I like them both. I need to fully test this one a little bit more, but that's just kind of my first impressions. And then you actually do get brushes 
with the Angie Hot and Flashy one. They are the same exact brushes, except they are travel size. They're a little bit shorter, which is more conducive to this pouch style. And I put some longer ones in here just to show you. Okay, so this is the travel one. And then this is the regular size one. So they are exactly the same brushes. They're just a little bit shorter. So giving you guys all the information so you can decide which one might be right for you. But it is a really cute set and it makes a really cute gift for the holidays. Remember, BK Beauty also has their original travel, more of like a booklet style. My mom has that one. She really likes it. They're all good. I don't know. I think for gifts, I like the ones that come with brushes, the Angie Hot and Flashy and the original booklet one but if you kind of already have a lot of bk beauty brushes then i would go with this one because maybe you don't need more brushes you just want this cool holder so those are my initial thoughts guys hopefully it was helpful and then the last favorite that i want to share with you guys is just my handbag favorite for the month and it was definitely the celine lizard box bag you guys would have seen this all over my instagram because this is the bag that i took with me on my vacation, specifically the one that I used when I was in Paris that I took all of my photos with. I did put a poll up on my Instagram of like, which purse should I bring with me on vacation? And so many of you guys voted for the Lady Dior, but the more that I thought about it, the more I was like, you know what, I should go with the Celine because it does fit more. It's a little bit easier to get in and out of. And also I kind of had to change up my outfits a little bit because it was like 90 to 95 degrees in the beginning of the trip in Paris. And then towards the end, it was like 50 to, it was like 50s and 60s. So I needed a bag that would really go with kind of like summer outfits and then also fall outfits. And I think the tones of this bag just go perfectly with everything. It's super duper convenient. They are discontinuing this bag, but you can get it on the pre-love market just like I did. I got mine from the Real Real, and I did kind of like a little vlog and unboxing and all that kind of stuff that you guys can find here on my channel. But I wanted to just give a little shout out to my Celine bag. And with that, friends, those are all my favorites from the month of September. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that it was entertaining. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. You can head on over to my channel page where you can find more videos just like this one. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the description box down below, letting me know all of the products that you were loving during the month of September. Did you guys go on any trips? Do you have any travel favorites that you want to share with me? Any requests for things that you want me to review this upcoming month? I would love to know. Leave it all down below in the description box. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.